This is Chuck King on Friday, September 13th, 2024, with the two-minute warning from Acts chapter 21, verses 10 to 14. After we had been there for several days, a prophet named Agabus came down from Judea. He came to us, took Paul's belt, tied his own feet and hands, and said, This is what the Holy Spirit says. In this way, the Jews in Jerusalem will bind the man who owns this belt and deliver him over to the Gentiles. And when we heard this, both we and the local people pleaded with him not to go up to Jerusalem. Then Paul replied, What are you doing weeping and breaking my heart? For I am ready not only to be bound, but also to die in Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. Since he would not be persuaded, we said no more except, the Lord's will be done. This was a case when the Holy Spirit used a prophet named Agabus to speak a word to Paul about his impending arrest in Jerusalem. But Paul knew that God had called him to go there, and eventually also he found out he was to go to Rome. And so he was willing to do whatever the will of the Father was, even if it meant giving up his life for the sake of Jesus Christ. And so the people tried to persuade Paul not to go when they heard this prophecy, but the wrong interpretation of the prophecy by the people did not affect Paul. He knew the will of God, and he would only do the Father's will. We need to be the same. Doing the Father's will is more important than the concerns of the people, even our brothers and sisters. Let's hear the voice of God and obey it, no matter the cost.